Hello everyone. In today's video, I will talk about Stable Diffusion Excel and what it can do when you combine this with GPT-4. It is only available to use it on Dream Studio. All the prompt details will be said in the description of the video. So stay till the end. So first, let's have a look how we can access Dream Studio. Go to Google, search for Dream Studio Stable Diffusion. You will find this first thing. Click on this. You will find the another tab. Here you will find the details about new update SDXL in model preview mode. Once the training is over, it will be open source. So that's all. So you can click on this login and you can continue with your Google account. Once you log in, you will get around 25 credits uh, with which you can create images. By default, now SDXL beta preview is set as a model, but you can use other models if you want. Then you have a style sections. Here you can select photographic, digital art, neon or other stuff. So let's close this one. Then you have a positive prompt, negative prompt section. Then you have an image. If you want to have that image as a strength for your initial uh, image creation. And then you have uh, aspect ratio. You cannot change the aspect ratio for this. It will be one is to one. And then you can change the image count uh, four, three or something like that. And then you can click on this create and it will create the images. So now it's time to create our prompts. So I'll be using my old prompt which I have used in my Leonardo AI because that also uses stable diffusion, right? And if you have not watched that video, uh, you'll find the link on the top corner. You can watch that video after this. So let's go ahead. And this time I, I don't have anything in specific in mind. So I'll just ask surprise me with three different photorealistic portrait prompt. So let's see what uh, chat GPT will give me. and I'll just use that. Okay. So we have the prompt. Let's have a look here. We have something called mysterious person wearing carnival mask. Then we have about astronaut. And the third one is about travel warrior. So I've copied this in a notepad. So we'll go ahead with this and see. So let's take this prompt and run it in stable diffusion. So I have already given the negative prompt. I will say that uh, in the link. Uh, so let's go ahead and generate. I've just set the setting to two image because I want to see what kind of images it will generate. And if it looks fine, then I'll generate more. Okay, so let's click on this. So let's have a look at the images. So these are amazing, right? Uh, it is able to create such a stunning images. And GPT-4 has created uh, some different kind of prompt. So let's go ahead and try another one. So I'll go this time with the astronaut. Look at this. This is amazing. This is super clear. So let's try the third one. I'll go ahead and click on create. Let's look at this. I and mean, this is awesome. Stable diffusion Excel is really good for creating images like this. But again, uh, GPT-4, we just asked them to you know give me three random prompt, and it has given all the prompts which are really different but amazing with all the details uh, with the camera setting and other things so it really creates amazing images so let's have a look how we can use this as a image to image and create a image out of this so you will click on this set as an initial image and you will set here initial image strength i have kept it as 15 and the prompt will remain the same this time i'll go ahead and select some prompt let's select neon punk i'm not sure what kind of result it will generate but let's see I'll go ahead and click on create image count is still two. So let's see. So we do have an image here, uh, which is very similar to what we have given as image strength. But you can see it is uh, the face, facial expression and other thing is different. We have selected as a neon punk. So we do have signed some kind of lighting here. So I asked chat GPT to create a three prompt for anime style and that I ran here. So you could see that uh, these images are also uh, really great. Uh, this is in the style of uh, ghost in the cell or uh, these looks fine, right? So that's all for the day guys If you like this video hit the like and subscribe button share with your friends. See you in the next video. Thank you